Please be seated. Do not be afraid, for see, I, br I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. Whenever I've heard this story, I always think, I've always thought, that the angel was coming up up to the shepherds, and since it's dark and they can't really see, and so there's a, the person's about to talk to them, that he's saying, hold on, hold on, don't be afraid, because he's, he doesn't want to startle them, right? Because he doesn't want to scare them in that moment. I mean, they're there keeping guard over their sheep. There could be thieves. There could be wolves. There could be things. So he's letting them know, it's, it's I'm okay. And that's what I've always said, and I think that is true. But I also think it's true that he's telling them, do not be afraid, because the angel knows that the shepherds, just like the other people in Israel, have been living in great fear. They have been living in fear because they have been living in a world where there's too much unrest, too much suffering, too many things happening and stirring. There were these civil wars, and, you know, we hear Isaiah talking about this. All of the things that have gone before you, all these wars, all these wars you have lost, all these people you have lost, all these places you have been displaced from, all these conquerors who have conquered you, you will be, there will be a Messiah for you. That's what we hear from Isaiah. So remember, these people have been waiting for a long time. And so they've been living in fear of all the things. Just at that moment, we have just heard how Joseph and Mary are, living, are staying in another place. There's no place in the inn, which means that they are not in their hometown. They have had to travel to another place to get counted. A new ruler has come to town, and the new ruler wants everybody counted. What else is this new ruler going to ask of these people? What else is going to come their way? Are they going to survive this new ruler? Will their traditions, will their religion, will their livelihoods, how is that going to fare? So the angel, I think, is also telling the shepherds, do not be afraid, because to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. Remember, remember God told you he was going to send you a Messiah. Remember you've heard these from the prophets. Remember that? Well, it's going to happen. It's happening now. That's what the angel is reminding them, that the promise that they have been waiting for is about to get fulfilled. But see, these angels, they have been waiting for so long that they have wondered, is it really possible? Is God really going to come through? I don't know. 60, over 60 years has happened with these Romans here and ruling us, and nothing is getting better. Really? Is God really coming to save us? And if I think about today, and as I look out, I think sometimes, I think, mo I think if not all, most of us can empathize with these angels. Because a lot of us have some fears in our lives. Things are not all right. There's people amongst us who are ill. We're not sure how that's going to go. It's really cold out there, and this is not what we were expecting. So there's some things going on with the environment, and in the summer it was really, really hot. So what is happening with this environment? Our immigration laws, we, you know, for those of us who are immigrants in this community, you just don't know what you're going to get. One day it's one rule, another day it's another rule. 
the Supreme Court decides one thing, the administration decides. So there's people in our congregation who are just feeling like they just don't know what it's gonna, how the end of the year, will they be here, will they be sent away, what's gonna happen? So there's fears, fears of the economy. Is it gonna, the, is the, are, is inflation gonna keep going up or are we gonna hit a recession? You know, I stand here before you, some of you have already heard that something happened on the other side. And let me tell you, there's a lot of fear here standing right here. This whole thing came undone. What's it gonna cost us? Are we gonna have enough money to fix it? Are there gonna be enough people who are willing to kind of come through, right? There's a lot of that. There's fear of death, either of our own or of our loved one. And so just like the people of Israel who, may, who felt like, is God really come through, gonna come through? We may be wondering, when is Jesus returning? We heard, he came, he was gonna come back. Where is he? Is he coming back? When is he gonna come back? I want things to be made right now. But here's the thing, it is in moments like these, when we are afraid, when we are in doubt, when we are not sure what's gonna happen tomorrow, that is when God breaks in. And that's what this incarnation, what this story of this birth, of this child says, God is with us. God is with you, God is with me. I am with you, he says, all of you, no exceptions because I am the Lord, I am your savior. And God keeps his promises. God kept his promises to the Hebrews in Egypt when he liberated them from slavery. God kept his promise in the wilderness to give the Israelites a land of their own. God kept his promise to the people of Israel and sent a Messiah. He became incarnate and lived among them. So God will keep his promise and Christ will return and set all things right. So tonight we are reminded not to be afraid, to trust in God's promise because God keeps his promise. Now how that promise is gonna be kept, when that promise is gonna be kept, now that, I don't know, nobody knows. But something tells me it may not be what we expect. Because when God kept his promise and Jesus was born, that is not what they were expecting. They were expecting a warrior and instead they got a baby. And a baby that was born to poor people out there in the margins. But that baby grew up and taught us how to love one another, reminded us of God's love, and it was God's self that lived and dwelled among us and was willing to die for us, to conquer death. That's the big fear right there, death. And God said, no more death for my people. And so just like God kept that promise, God will keep our promises to us of returning to us. But let's not be surprised of the, might be a little bit of topsy-turvy. Our life may be turned a little bit upside down, just like it was back when he first came. But God will keep God's promise. And so, as we remember today that God keeps his promise, it could help us find a new way to prepare ourselves for that return. So what does it mean to you that God is with us? What does it mean to you to trust in Jesus' promise to return and make all things right? How does that change our lives? How does that change how we treat one another, how we live and how we respond to those threats and those fears? Tonight, as we sit, regardless of what may be going on in our lives, may we receive the good news. The good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who was the Messiah, the Lord. 
Amen.